Hey y'all, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. I'm very excited y'all are hanging out with me on this day. There's a lot to get done, and we're doing so over two days. Y'all know I've been talking about a new sink and a makeover in the bathroom and replacing my tiny kitchen island. And so that's what we're doing. So let's just jump into it. Okay, y'all so here we are we're in the bathroom and I've been talking about it and I've been talking about it and I've told you guys to be waiting for the video well now here's the video we are doing a bathroom remodel makeover remodel whatever you want to call it we're making over the bathroom and we're getting rid of this monstrosity um, we've been wanting to upgrade get rid of this thing for quite some time but we've had other things that we've been you know trying to get done first this was not of the utmost importance so it got put on the back burner well the other day the boys completely ripped this whole door off playing uh while they was brushing their teeth and then this sink part here got ripped apart from the wall so yeah when that happened, it was a hazard. I could have dealt with the, the no door thing um, for as long as I needed to, but when this actually pulled away from the wall, it became a hazard to my kids because where they like to play around in here, um, not just during bath time, but brushing teeth time, that's where they're at, you know, when they're up here and you can see how dirty this thing is. Um, this is just from today, to be honest, from me just kind of going back and forth moving things out moving things around trying to get everything ready everything just kind of you know it didn't get wiped off from this morning so but anyway i'm afraid that jackson he likes to pull on this you know uh he'll stand and he'll just like hold himself up and kind of pull i'm afraid it's really gonna you know not hold much longer so plus i've also got some new decor that i'm going to show you guys here in just a second i'm really excited about that so we're going to be also putting up new decor in here and this is just going to be like phase one or step one or whatever you want to call it this is just the first part to this um we're going totally farmhouse we are going to be painting again we're going to be putting in a uh, different lighting um i want lights to go right up there so so you guys um i want different lighting i want um i don't really know how to explain it I, I i want new uh covers that goes right here for sure and uh this is going to be coming out of here we're putting a shelf up i'm actually wanting um a couple of shelves but i do have an idea of how i want them and what i want them to look like so that that's going to be a minute before we get those in here but we do have the one shelf that's going to go in here and kind of take this thing out um and i am going to be giving this away um this actually just got kind of thrown in here it wasn't meant to come in here it was moved out of the hallway when we was moving in the new mattress and um kind of just got put in here so it's wasn't going to be staying in here anyway so yeah this is going to be took out um this toilet paper uh, holder uh, and dispenser is coming out of here as well I think I'm going to be giving that away as well because there's not anything really wrong with it um, I did just go ahead and get the black metal frame one because everything is going to be like I said it's going to be farmhouse so it's going to be um, more like in that black style more like in this style really uh, but this I just it's become more of a nuisance than something that helps so we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of it this is gonna stay as part of um decoration just because it does go with it and i did just buy that anyway so all right so we're gonna head on into my bedroom 
and I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the decor. Don't pay attention to all this mess, you guys. I'm decluttering some things. So, yeah, I've got Valentine's Day stuff and Fourth of July stuff and Christmas stuff kind of all out here in the way. And uh, so, yeah, don't be paying attention to all of that. That's not going to stay there. Anything is going to get put right back up. Okay, so here we go. Let me move these pillows. And I'm going to show you guys the new decor. Okay, so here is the new bathroom decor. I did order this from Amazon. If I don't forget, I'll try to link it in the description box. Um, I think it was, it was fairly um, reasonable price-wise. I think it was under $30. Like I said, I'll try to link it if anyone's interested in checking it out or ordering some for themselves. It does come with um, two different kinds of labels. It comes with this kind of label, which is just, well, you see it's a little cardboard on some jute. One for the toothbrush holder, one for the soap dispenser. So, and then it comes with this set of labels. It comes with um, bath soap, hand soap, hand lotion, dish soap. That was strange because I didn't expect to see dish soap uh, and this being a bathroom set, but whatever. We've got two toothbrush uh, brushes labels. Um, I'm not sure why. There's two cotton balls and cotton swabs. So, um, there's a tray, and it is actual metal, so that's great. But, okay, so here's a tray. And, and then this little soap dish here. My husband absolutely loves this little soap dish here because of this feature. It keeps the soap up off, so, you know, it can dry and not get nasty. Um, and then, it comes with... I'll start over here on this jar first. This is actually a flower base. Nope, this one is a toothbrush holder. So we've got the toothbrush holder here. This one is the flower base, the first one I grabbed. It's actually a flower base, so I'm most definitely going to be getting some. Um, and that's actually what they have it labeled in um, on Amazon, too, is as a flower base. I imagine it could be used for about anything, but I absolutely thought that was so cute. And then you have your apothecary jars. Uh, one of my kids' Lego piece got stuck in there. Then you have two of the apothecary jars, as you guys can see. And it does have that kind of lid. With some juke going around it. Two of those. And then you have the uh, soap dispenser here. And then this. This is just a, another basket, a wire basket to set... Um, on top of a shelf or back of the toilet, whatever. So we will be decorating with this stuff as well um, once we get the new sink. And so I'm really excited. We will eventually, like I said, we're gonna be doing this in like phases or in steps or whatever. So um, we will eventually be getting um, paint and stuff to do that as well. While we're in here in the bedroom, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I did go ahead and pick up a few other things or ordered a few other things. I did go ahead and get a full-length mirror. And I really like this. And I even thought that it would look really great going above the headboard of my bed. But my husband's really enjoying it like this because he uses it to work out. And because I do have some workout um, routines that I do as well. Uh, taking my MS into consideration that I enjoy being able to watch to make sure I'm holding form right. But, you guys, my new mattress, look at that. My new mattress, look how much thicker it is. I'm loving it. So, yeah. Which we will be having a video uh, here soon of, you know, the bedroom and stuff. And I'll show you guys in, even better. But we did actually get the tv mounted on the wall and you guys can see my kiddo over there playing uh video games but we did get the tv mounted on the wall and stuff but we're not going to go into all of that and everything like i said this is mostly about the bathroom and the kitchen we do need to go and clean the kitchen up in this video so um and i'm really excited to show you guys my new island it did come in and i did make a video for you guys but 
Um, as you guys know, I have been dealing with some technical issues where my camera and stuff had went out on me. And so, um, where I had some of those issues where some, some things had went out on me and things, it just, the video did not work. Um, I do have some of the clips still yet, but I figure um, I'll save them and possibly use them later on as B-roll or something if I need to. But as of right now, that video is kind of gonna stay where it's at and that's just on the SD card. So, um, so as I said, we're gonna get in the kitchen. We're gonna clean. I'm gonna show you guys new on that way. And I do have some drawer organizers coming because my new island has given me a lot of drawer space. So we will be having an organization uh, video coming soon. So let's get out of this bedroom. Let, let me quit talking into the mirror to you guys and let's get back onto the bathroom and get this sink up and get this bathroom into some kind of shape other than what it is in now. Okay guys, here is the faucet. My husband's opening the box right now to um, be able to access the sink. It's still in the box. I'll just kind of flip you guys around. Dominic is already over here. As you guys see, this is the box. He's getting it open right now. So now back over here to check out this faucet. Yeah, you guys, I've got things kind of everywhere. We got a trash can here. I've got two floor cleaners here. There's a little bit of everything everywhere right now because we are in the process of doing this. So just kind of look over the house um, and we'll eventually slowly get to each thing and get it clean. Y'all know. So here's the faucet. And I absolutely love this. I'm so excited about this. But here's the faucet. Boys, you got to get back now. So, yeah, I'm very excited. That's the faucet that's going to go on it. And then it comes with the plate that goes on the base, but that is if you have more than the one hole, and it only comes with the one hole. And then it comes with all of the gadgets and gadgets that you need. It comes with water tape, all of the fittings, some tools, and the water lines. So let's get to it. sink together we got to really looking at the pieces as we were putting them together and it is really made of good quality uh, material I'm very surprised we did order this off of Amazon and I did get it on a limited time deal I think originally priced it was almost $400 um, so we got it at half that and I was so happy about that but because the sink and the vanity came together was the big one for me. But I just absolutely love the style of this. It gives me more room, more storage space. And just, it does come with a lot of different hardware pieces. And you've really got to pay attention to the um, instructions putting this together. Because it will it is very easy to put something together wrong or backwards or upside down. I mean, you guys see the pieces, they all look almost identical, um, except for the shape, or not the shape, but the, the length of some of them, and then some of them are identical, so you really do have to pay attention to the numbering and the instructions, but once we got it all together and got it finished, got it in the bathroom, 
I was completely and totally amazed at just how beautiful this thing is. And I can say now that it's all finished, it was some hard work. And no, I didn't bring you guys along for all of it, but you all do see the majority of it. But it was some hard work, and it was well worth it in the end. So I'm very happy with my new bathroom, and I'll be even more excited when we finish it completely out once we get the paint and all of that. La, 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 la. You on a good day I was doing fire, so fire 
That was till she called me Telling me your lies, yeah, your lies, yeah I gave it all to you Wasn't enough for you Baby, you're so cool Guess it's no news You would bring me heartache But all this healing time, healing time, yeah. I could even the score Fuck with your friend like you did mine But you Putting the doors on was the easiest part of this whole sink. As a matter of fact, I kind of think I know it was. Um, but I go ahead and I get two screws in each door. Both doors takes four screws a piece. But I thought, you know, if I ended up having to take one of the doors out because it didn't get put in correctly, um, it went in crooked or, you know, whatever, um then I wouldn't have as many screws to take out. And this did not come with the um, holes for the screws already uh, pre-drilled into it, like most other things that comes from Amazon do. Uh, so I had to be very careful whenever I was doing this and make sure that it was going exactly where it needed to go. And I did, and it turns out looking great. You guys will see that. Um, but yeah, the doors were most certainly the easiest part of this whole sink. Okay, so here we are on day two, and it ended up getting really late by the time that the sink was finally put in the bathroom, and my husband had everything hooked together and all that good stuff. So, um, I didn't get in here and continue working because it, it got really late. It was like almost midnight, I think, uh, by the time that it was all said and done. So, I got up this morning, and I hit the ground running and got right back to it bringing you guys along with me. I'm just cleaning everything off because, of course, nothing got cleaned off the night before. And I'm kind of just going through and getting an idea of where everything's going to, you know, have a home. Um, I do have more things that do need to be moved in to the bathroom, um, but it's not much because I have decluttered a lot, like a ton of stuff. I have gave away a bunch of stuff. Um, so, yeah. I'm really happy with the way that everything is more minimum. Um, I'm really enjoying the minimal lifestyle. So everything being, you know, a lot less than it was, I don't need all that just to be happy. That was way too much. Everything was always cluttered. And it was just anno annoying, to be honest. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. Right here, I'm putting the labels on the jars. And it takes me a try or two before I get the label set where I want it. As you guys will see, I peel it back off and resituate it, I think, three times by the time it's all said and done, and I'm satisfied with the placement. But I do eventually get it. But I really think that the bathroom looks really cute the way that it turns out, and you guys will have to let me know what you all think down in the comments. If I ever see you Okay, so I did want to address something because I'm sure I'm going to get some questions um, if I haven't already, actually. Um, I've just not checked. But um, I know that it's been almost two weeks since I last posted. And no, I didn't take any time off um, or anything like that. Um, as I was trying to explain earlier, I did have a video of when we first got the island in the kitchen. And it just... When editing it, it didn't turn out. So, that's why that video didn't get posted. That's why I didn't have a video last week. So, um, hopefully that'll never happen again. But, you know, things do happen. Especially 
whenever it comes to editing um, and hardware and software and computers and, you know, things like that. It just happens occasionally. Um, I will do my best to make sure that that doesn't happen again, that I do have at least one video out for you guys. Um, but not just that happened. Um, I was dealing with a little bit of depression as well. And um, there is reasoning behind it. You guys know that um, I do deal with depression and anxiety. And um, my mental health is very important to me. And it didn't have anything to do with why I wasn't filming um, completely, I'll say. What had happened was my car, it um, completely quit on me like there was no saving it. And so um, I've been saving up to get a new vehicle, but I hadn't got there yet. And so I was forced into the decision to go ahead and purchase a new vehicle because I can't go without a vehicle. And um, so for three days, I kind of sat depressed and you know was playing a little bit of a pity party for myself and things um but I did get a new car I did pull out of the depression and you know I'm still working on all of that um also you guys I know I'm pouring peppermint soap from Christmas into my hand soap jar we're trying to finish using up what's left of that that's why I'm using that there's not much left as you guys can see and it will get switched out with a spring scent soon. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, a couple of times I did go to pick up the camera to talk, just to talk to you guys about it. But I wasn't there yet. And it it took picking up the camera and trying to film that video to realize that I wasn't there yet to speak with anyone about it at that time. But I am in a lot better mindset. So... You guys don't have to worry. I do want to let you guys know that that much, at least. I am in a lot better mindset than where I was at um, a week ago, and things are looking a lot better. And no, I shouldn't have let my car quitting out on me um, put me into a depression like that. But it wasn't something that I allowed to happen. You know, anything can, can set depression off. And... Um, just, I had been having some issues with my vehicle, with my car, and it was one thing after another, and I felt like I had wasted, by the time it was all said and done, a ton of money trying to, you know, put off buying a new vehicle and fixing my current vehicle that I had at the time, um, if that makes sense at all, because I was really wanting to save up and really find a vehicle that I wanted, and I had almost got there. And I can't say that I don't like the vehicle that I've got now. It's a Ford Taurus. And I actually do love it. But I wasn't satisfied with the fact that I had to not get that option of being able to get one closer to the one that I wanted. If that makes sense at all. So yeah, that's what was going on with that. That's why there was not a video last week. And I'm very sorry. Like I said, I will do my best to try to not let that happen again. But, you know, things happen. I am only human, and I do have a family and a life, too, outside of YouTube. So, I do have to make sure that all of that is taken care of before, you know, anything else. So, which I'm sure you guys understand. You guys are a great group of ladies and gentlemen. And you all always give me such encouraging words and prayers. And just, this is a great community here. And that's why I feel comfortable enough speaking about what was going on in the last week um, here at home behind the scenes without the camera rolling. So, um, also, before I forget, if you're new here, I really hope you enjoyed the content, and I hope that you decide that you want to keep coming back and that you subscribe. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps my channel out, and, you know, there's a little bit of everything here. We have literally a little bit of everything housekeeping, homemaking, cleaning, kids, motherhood, DIYs, day in the lives, grocery hauls, shopping hauls, <laughs> just a little bit of everything. So if that's what you're looking for, then keep coming back and go ahead and hit subscribe. 
Don't forget to like the video as well, you guys. That really does help my channel out as well. So let's get on back to it. We're almost finished in the bathroom. Uh, we're going to do a quick once over. Let you guys see how it all turned out. Don't forget to let me know what you all think in the comments. And then we're going to move on over to the kitchen. Okay, so we've moved into the kitchen here. And in the kitchen, everything's just kind of where we've been redoing the bathroom and putting the new sink in and redecorating it. Everything just kind of got thrown into the kitchen and in the laundry room, but we're not going to have time to do the laundry room on this day. So we're going to go ahead and knock out the kitchen, get it cleaned up, get the dishes washed, get the new island cleaned off, get the kitchen table cleaned off, get the floor swept. They're not really so dirty they need to be mopped, but they do have dried mud in some spots on the floor, so they do need to be swept. Um, other than that, that's really all that needs to be done. So, let's just get to it. Fuck with your friend like you did mine But you don't matter no more And I'm not the heartless kind of type My nemesis Y'all, I absolutely love my new island. It's bigger. There's more space in the drawers. There's drawers, for one. <laughs> but there's more uh, counter space. There's more cabinet space. There's more drawer space. And that one little area there on the side of it that I'm cleaning, or was cleaning, that was quick, um, that's actually for like spices or oils or anything like that. And then the other side has a paper towel holder so convenient my boys absolutely love sitting up here playing um, with their legos or play-doh or eating breakfast or their lunch or doing homework they love sitting up here and i did have to order the seats separately but my husband absolutely loves these seats that go with it and i don't think i could have picked anything that would have went with it better i absolutely love them 
and I'm comfortable with my boys getting up and down out of them. So, you know, big, big A plus there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get these dishes dried up and put away, and then we're going to wash the dishes. I'm also going to be changing out the shoe basket that I've moved in here, but I'll tell you more about that when we get to that. I don't care about the bad shit back home. It's Cincinnati, baby. Y'all know I love my Candleberry candles, and so, yeah, I've got a Candleberry candle burning on the island, but I also have uh, one of the tarts burning in my wax warmer, so I love the hot maple toddy scent. That is my most favorite scent. Um, that is the scent that I buy the most. My family loves it, and I've used it for literally the last 20 years since my oldest two were babies. Love it. Okay, so you guys see me looking behind myself, and then I'll look over to the side here in a second, and you'll see me move my laptop here in a second. That is because I have started watching a Netflix um, series. Um, I've been looking for one for uh, quite a while, well, since I finished watching um, all the Supernaturals, um, but The Walking Dead. Um, my daughter-in-law is actually the one that got me to watch the first couple episodes, and so ever since I've been watching a um, couple nights there, I have binged watched it for a few hours when I've not had anything to do or the kids have been asleep, but so far I'm really enjoying the um, the all the episodes and everything, so really, really enjoying it. That's what I'm doing there, though, and that's why my laptop's where it's at. <laughs> You're so damn worth, there's no one like you. Yeah, too rare to find, cause you are. You're one of a kind. No words to describe. Okay, so 
솔직히 우리보다 더 많은 사이 없어 Make it no way girl I'm sure, I'm sure I'll always choose you first You're my baby It's true You're so damn worth There's no one like you Yeah, too rare to find Cause you are You're one of us that I just sprayed into my sink is my own homemade sanitizing cleaner. And it is just half part alcohol, 91% alcohol, and half part water with um, five to 10 drops of essential oil of my choosing for scent. That's all that that is. It's a great cleaning solution uh, for the wow. sink, a great sanitizer for the sink, wow. and it leaves it smelling fresh. Mommy. Right here, is the new basket you all see this basket uh in the living room usually the one that i'm emptying out well the one that i am emptying into the black and white one i just picked that up and i knew that i needed something bigger for in here the shoe system that i had uh with the little uh shoe tray or a shoe rack there we go with the shoe rack that was sitting here also dominic's in here you guys hear him <laughs> Um, just a minute, Dominic. Okay, just a minute. Um, so anyway, uh, the shoe rack that I had in here, it was just not working. Nobody ever wanted to take those few extra seconds to put their shoes on it, and it was a mess. So, I moved that one basket into here, and it was working. And I thought, well, I need to get a bigger one, because a bigger one is what's needed at the door that we use the most. So, I picked this one up. 
while I was out. I think I found it at the Dollar General, and I think it was $14 originally. And I brought it home, and so it, it does work. It works a lot better. The family seems to really enjoy being able to just toss their shoes in as opposed to having to neatly place them on a rack. So, win-win for me. Anyway, also, I wanted to say... Um, I really hope you guys are enjoying the music. Um, it's new. I tried to find some new tracks uh, that I've not played before or that I haven't played much. And so I really hope you guys are enjoying the music. Let your day be. that I'm moving off of the refrigerator. I'm getting ready to clean the refrigerator and I'm just using the window cleaner uh, by JAWS, um, which JAWS stands for Just Add Water System. For those of you that aren't familiar, I highly recommend them. But anyway, those papers that I just moved off. One was a spelling test for Jackson, my five-year-old, and he had an A-plus on it. He done really great. The other one was um, a vocabulary test for my 10-year-old, Will. He got a B on that. I was so proud. He usually brings A's home, but an A, a B, I'm proud. And then the little yellow one was a hand kitty that Jackson made by uh, drawing his hand, um, cutting it out, and putting a little kitty cat head on it. It was too adorable. But those are going to go in their uh, folders that I've been keeping for each grade for the things that um, I think that they may want when they get older. Let all, let all the chains that bind you Okay, y'all, so we're coming to the end of the video, and I feel like we've gotten a ton done just over two days. We got a new sink put in, the bathroom redecorated, and as I said, that was just phase one. We got the kitchen cleaned up. You all got to see the new island. We do still need to organize the drawers. We will get to that. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is the kickoff of my spring cleaning. As you guys know, I just started with my last video, so I really hope you guys are enjoying that. The weather's really starting to pick up, and I'm really enjoying that. So, <laughs> anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope you guys got the motivation you may need to get up and get your spring cleaning started, whether it be as big and, um, you know, different changing and, and things of that nature as mine is or as small as just cleaning your house and dusting off your ceiling fans i really hope you guys got the motivation to get that done so yeah i think that's got it till next time love y'all stay safe small city thinking i get why you left small-minded people sure know how to drink